G'day guys, welcome to another episode of Two Aussie Thrifters from coming to you from picturesque Darwin. Uh, we're down here at Nightcliff tonight. Um, we're gonna have some dinner and watch the sunset, which should be pretty awesome. Uh, while we're here in Darwin, we're gonna hit up a few op shops and uh, show you what we find. Come along with us. G'day guys, op shop number one in Darwin. I'm pretty excited being new territory. Uh, we'll see what we can find here. It's always cool to head into new op shops. Um, you never know what you're gonna find, especially being in a different uh, different state or territory in this case. It's gonna be interesting to see what's abundant here. So let's go and have a look. This would have been cool, but a bit busted. All right guys, didn't do too bad in there. I got uh, one game, a couple cassettes, and this awesome Castali brand new with tags um, cycling jersey. Uh, you can see the tag just there. Um, so I paid $20 all up. Um, I think the Castali shirt I should be able to get about 59, maybe a bit more. And the cassettes were usually lit up for about 20 bucks. And I'd have to look up the game, but I know that the Metallica one does okay. And I only paid a buck for it. So, um, pretty good little start. Um, not a massive one, but worth a look in, definitely. So, we'll probably head to a few more and we'll take you along with. Bye! Op shop number two in Darwin. Let's find out what we can get in this one. It's a red cross. Found anything yet? Nothing. Me either. Nothing in that one, unfortunately. On to the next one. Let's go into Salvo, shall we? Is this number three for today? Three. Not bad so far, one game per boots. Going to the Red Cross. Another fail. No deal. On to the next. Two of Vinnie's. Is that a Finney's I see? Meryl, 20 bucks. Adidas, 25. Nothing out of that one. I could have picked up those medals for 20. If I was at home, I probably would have. Um, but we have to get them back to Adelaide, so we have limited room in our bag. Um, if they were 15, I probably snapped them up, but just um, with traveling all that, it's probably not going to be worth it. On to the next. Into the Red Cross. See through the window. So they were both sort of typical high street shops, anything that we would normally buy for 10. They wanted 20, uh, so we didn't end up getting anything from those. Um, we're going to head to a few more and see what we can get. Another Vinnie's, let's go. Hey guys, just jumped out of that Vinnie's. Another one where we didn't pick up anything. So, um, turns out you can't find uh, stuff in every shop you go in. <laughs> um, we're definitely enjoying the Darwin weather though. Um, it's very nice at the moment, 30 degrees. 
Um, but we enjoy the Adelaide Op Shopping better because uh, we usually we usually have hit some pretty good scores by now. We do have some good stuff, so once we get home, we'll show you everything and uh, go from there. See you at the next one. All right, let's see if we can get some good stuff out of this salvos here, shall we? All right, that one wasn't too bad. Got a couple of things. What do we got? We got one of the 3D character cups. We got some Brita refills. We got a Texas Instruments calculator. Yeah. G'day guys, we're here at the iconic Mindel Beach Markets. Uh, we're about to head in. I saw that glint in your eyes, all you resellers. Unfortunately, this is not one of those sort of markets. This is all food and local produce. So we'll take you in and show you around and uh, let's ha go have a look. I need a territory. Hey guys, where are we going today? Thrifting! Off to Palmerston to hit up a few op shops. There's about three down that way, so check them out while we're in the area. Right, Sio, another day, another op shop. We're gonna head into Salvo's and see what we can find. So we're in Palmerston now, um, which is about 20 minutes from Darwin. So it'll be interesting to see what they've got here. Let's go! What do you got there? Q. How much? Oh, very nice. Can I have a super quick look in cashies while we're in the area? Uh, we've got a couple things out of that salvos. Uh, nothing out of the cash converters. Uh, typical cash converters overpriced for what we want. Um, we're going to head to a couple more, so come along and let's find some more cool gear. Right, oh, let's head into Vinnie's and see what we can find in this one. What do we got there, Jazz? Nice Harley. Needs a bit of a clean, but for 10 bucks, I reckon it's worth a pick up. Didn't do too bad out of that one. A uh, nice pair of jeans and a Harley Davidson shirt, so um, that's not a bad little stop. Oh, shop number three. Um, this is our haul from Darwin. Uh, we pretty much hit up every op shop in the vicinity and Palmerston. Um, we ended up getting quite a, a lot of gear really. Um, you did see us miss out on a couple but we did it right in the end. Um, so I'll show you what we got. Uh, we got this uh, Brita water filter that goes on your tap. Um, that's about $39.95, paid about five bucks. I got a whole bunch of games. Uh, Guitar Hero Metallica for PS3. Uh, PlayStation 2 um, Buzz Racer and Tinkerbell Disney. Um, so that's, you know, a couple of nice little games there. Um, we got this two Sony UX um, cassettes. Um, paid about a buck each for those, so that's pretty nice. We have got well-adjusted babies, which you've seen before if you've watched any of our previous videos, because we sell this all day long. Uh, beautiful condition, got that for $2. We also got this uh, Voltron DVD set um, of nine. We paid five bucks for that one, um, so that's a nice little find, about $39.95 on that. We've got the Texas Instruments uh, TI-84 calculator. It's got a name on the back, we'll just take that off with a little bit of like nail polish remover probably. Um, paid two dollars for that. Uh, I got these two um, stands for your Microsoft Surface Pro and your MacBook Air. A MacBook Air. MacBook Air. <laughs> MacBook Air. Pay $10 each. They look like they're going for about $79.95. Brad got the Wii Nunchuck accessory. What'd you get that for? Uh, a couple bucks, I think. Yeah, and about $30. 
and we should get back on that. Uh, we picked up another pair of Aaron Williams jeans, um, only because they were 10 bucks, good condition. Uh, I think they were a size 36, so we should get about 49.95 out of those as well. You'll have to teach me this one. Uh, so these are dragon jeans. So these are like the Kevlar lined um, motor black jeans. Um, so they have the Kevlar lining, which protects um, if you come off your motorbike. Um, now these are brand new with tags, so an awesome find. Uh, Five dollars we paid for those, um, and comps on these are over a hundred. So fantastic find on those ones. You picked up another pair of pants that I don't know. Oh yeah, so this this is um the brand I, I believe it's called New N E U W. Um, now the only reason I picked these up was because they had the brand new sort of tag on the back there. Brand um, new news. Yeah, brand new news. Uh, they don't have the swing tag, um, but they are like brand new and paid six dollars for them so they got a bit of like text on them which is unusual um but pretty cool for what they are so yeah we should be able to get 50 out of those super brad also picked up the new with tags castelli yeah castelli exactly yeah so i paid ten dollars for that one actually 15 sorry um but yeah brand new with tags we should be able to get 59.95 out of that piece so very nice i just know to look for the red scorpion yeah little red scorpion dude uh, today we hit up a couple of shops um, and we actually picked up two um, Harley Davidson shirts. So the back is awesome. Yeah, that that's one. very cool. That one um, we paid three bucks for that one, I believe. Yeah, three dollars. Um, very cool shirt. Um, we should be able to get fifty nine ninety five out of that. So that's a nice find. And then also the button up uh, Harley Davidson USA. Yeah. So um, this one needs a bit of a clean. Um, it is a three extra large though, so very nice. Um, good print on the back there. So we should be able to get $69.95 out of something like that. Uh, Jazzy found this uh, nice little Ferrari um, Polo. Um, it's got the big print on the back there, quite nice, size extra large. Uh, we paid $7 for that one. Um, so yeah, a good little find. Um, we should oh, we've be able to... sold one before that was very, very similar, if not exactly the same. Yeah, for about $49.95, I reckon. Uh, another one we've sold before is the little Q blouse which is blowing away in the wind there. Um, we've sold this before in yellow, spotted it again and thought well we know that goes. Red tags were two, two bucks. dollars. Yeah very good find. Um, this was a cool little um, retro item uh, so the 3D cups. I'm not actually sure what, what character that is. I've seen all the others are quite a bit out at markets and garage sales but you don't often see that purple one. Yeah so a dollar, um, pretty nice. Um, they won't sell for a lot of money, but I reckon locally we should be able to get $10 for that. Complete someone's set. Let us know if you know their name. Yeah. <laughs> and these here were probably the find of the um, find of the trip. So these are a pair of blue steel healers. I don't know if you make that out there. Um, and these are like brand new. They haven't been worn. Um, fantastic condition. Um, and comps on these are about $220. Um, obviously that would probably be with a box. So even if I shot for 190 on those, I um, would make a fantastic profit because we only paid 40 bucks. Um, so that was probably the best find in Darwin that we had. Um, a lot of little items that will make us a little bit of profit, but these are the, probably the, the, the grail of the Darwin trip. So you can get them in your suitcase. Yeah, so obviously we, we did leave a lot of stuff because we have to take this all back to Adelaide um, and we only have a limited amount of space in our bag. Uh, so we're gonna be probably pushing the limits as we are. <laughs> Um, but we've had a fantastic time. I spent some good time with family, got some op shopping in. Got some sun. Yeah, got some sun. So if you guys have liked this video, please smash that thumbs up for us. Um, leave us a comment. If you guys haven't been to Darwin, this is definitely the time of year to be here. Um, 30 degrees all the time. So great time. And make sure you subscribe for us, guys. Um, we really appreciate all the people uh, that have been jumping on board. So thanks, everyone. And we'll see you next time on Two Aussie Thrifters.